Hey guys, Tiger Brinson, and I'd like to give you my thoughts on um, how Season 6 of Game of Thrones will play out. I'm a huge fan of the show, never read any of the books though, but I definitely will be doing that sometime in the future. Um, but anyway, let's uh, jump right into it. So, um, Season 6 will be uh, reintroduced to Bran, and I think that what the uh, three-eyed raven meant by he will fly is that Bran will probably be able to war in the crows now. Um, I think he'll have seen or had a vision of the battle at Hardhome, and he'll travel to the wall in order to help the Night's Watch prepare with all the knowledge he's gained from his training. Um... Some other things that I think will happen is that we'll probably get cold hands this season. He'll probably be a Brand's escort. Escort will be introduced to him in an entirely different way, and uh, the Red White Raven will probably just give him to Bran as a servant. All right. Next up, we have Jon Snow. I think Jon Snow's body will be put on the pyre and burned. But he'll rise from the ashes and become a Zora High. And probably confirm the R plus L equals J theory. Melisandre will name him a Zora High. And uh, John will execute all of the mutineers who stabbed him to death. But will spare Ollie and most likely send him to Old Town. Melisandre will convince John to travel to Marine and meet Daenerys, the mother of dragons. Danny will be captured by the Dothraki and in order to survive... She'll marry the cow and get them on her side and request to take Westeros and sit on the Iron Throne. She'll release her dragons and reassert control over them. And um, near the end of the season, Varys will most likely use his connections to get her ships so she can sail over to Re Westeros. Alright, here's, um, here's my thoughts on how I think the last scene with Dorne played out. How is it going to play out next season? I really think that the Snans, Sand Snakes and the Crooked Nose Chick will be executed for treason. And Jamie will have his Breaking Bad moment and become more like Tywin than ever before. Especially when he finds out what happened to Cersei. He'll just get sick of all this crap and he'll manipulate his son Tommen into uh, you know waging war against Dorne. And he'll and he'll get him to uh, deal and he'll deal personally with the sons of the harpy threat. Him, him and the king's guard will probably handle that. Um, in this season for Arya, I think she'll complete her assignment on killing the the coin master or the dude with the coins. You know, she'll feed him a poison oyster. Or she'll poison his coin. She'll get her sight back, and she'll truly understand what it, is, what it is to be no one. I do not think she will be getting her revenge this season on everyone on her list. I think she'll kind of leave that life behind and truly become a faceless, faceless man assassin. Or another possibility is she uses all of this training and leaves the, the House of Black and White and leaves Bravos and heads back to Westeros to exact her revenge. Um, what'll happen to Sansa and Reek? Well, I'll be honest. When I first saw that scene of them jumping off the wall, I was like, "They're dead. They're freaking dead." Like that was a pretty far drop. Even with all that snow, they probably broke a bone or two. They're probably hurting real bad. But I think that um, Sansa will either find a way back to Peter Baelish, and you know kind of become this master manipulator once again and develop her character farther than she ever thought she could go. Or I think she'll find Brienne and, you know, kind of use Brienne's power to, uh, you know, kill Ru kill Ramsay and Roose Bolton. I think she'll, she'll be able to manipulate an entire army just to take care of the Boltons and kill them off. What I think will happen to uh, Tyrion and Varys when it comes to them, like, and Grey Worm, when it comes to them trying to conquer the city and keep the city under the control, um, I think they'll do just fine. I don't think anything too serious will happen. 
there will be a couple of uprisings, but Grey Worm will definitely handle that, handle that because he's the leader of the Unsullied. Um, Jorah, Jorah's definitely going to die from the grayscale he contracted because um, it's starting to look pretty nasty. And I think on his deathbed, you know, Daenerys will give him like a pity makeout or something. But on his deathbed, it'll kind of reveal to Daenerys how he's felt all this time. Because I really don't think Jorah's um, romance with Daenerys is physical. I think it's more of a emotion, like a duty he feels to this girl. No matter how creepy you may see it, I think he feels honor-bound to help this girl. You know, he talks about her brother Rhaegar. And maybe the reason he loves her so much is because... He really thinks she can put the world back together. He maybe sees Rhaegar inside of her. And, uh... So I think that's how Jorah will go out. I think Jorah will go out like a boss. I don't think he's gonna go out on the weak crap. Who else? Um... Let me see. Some, some things... Oh yeah, the White Walkers. Um, the White Walkers... And the Knight's King will definitely attack the wall this season. I think they'll find an object or something that will help them bring down the wall. Like maybe they'll find the horn that Mance Raider was talking about. And they'll use that to destroy the wall. But I definitely think they're going to attack this season. The wall this season. I think the big White Walker War is going to begin in the season finale. And in season 7 we'll pick up right where we left off. I think... During this season, Jon Snow is going to travel around the world talking about the coming White Walker threat. If he does come back. But I think he will come back. Because the whole fight with the White Walkers in um, Hard Home, Episode 8, I think that really showed you that Jon Snow is important to, this, to the endgame. I think Jon Snow is not going to die. I think he's a real endgame character. I think... Like, granted, they did set up Ned Stark to be a main character and then killed him off, but I think, I don't think that, um, Jon Snow would have had that huge fight with the White Walkers just to be stabbed to death by, like, Thorn, the old, the old prick. I don't think that would just happen just to, you know, just to happen. I think he is a main player in the series. I don't believe Tyrion, Daenerys, or... Arya or Jon Snow or Bran are going to die. I think those are the five characters that are going to make it out of this series with a whole skin. And I really think Bran's going to become some, some kind of Gandalf-like character. Like at the end of the series, he's going to be like Gandalf flying around or crawling around. <laughs> or crawling around on the ground and, you know, he'll just be using his magic. And he'll probably meet Bilbo and... <laughs> Start a, a journey or something. Jon Snow will probably find out, finally find out who his parents are. But will most likely get that Avatar cliffhanger. Where um, Zuko asks um, Ozai who his mom is. And then we cut out of that scene. And what really made me want to punch the creators of Legend of Korra in the throat. Is that um... Like... A um Ang's Tozen's old um y oldest daughter asked Katara whatever happened to Zuko's mom and right as Katara's about to say it, the youngest daughter comes out of nowhere spewing all that comic relief crap. And I actually had to find out what the heck happened to the mom in uh, the comic book. Like you find out she like the mother of faces, which is I don't know if you remember Ko, you know, the stealer of faces, that's his mom and she she gives her a new face and an entirely new identity, and she's kind of just living out her life peacefully in exile, which I thought was pretty cool to the character, but I didn't like how they just left that mystery up in the air. Like, come on, that was kind of stupid. Um, but anyway, let me just let me get back on topic before I start rambling. But yeah, I really think season six is going to be better. going to be the end game of the in like. It's going to be better than season one. It's going to be the end game season, and season seven is going to be the one with all the huge battles and all the fights and all that cool crap. All, we're gonna see all the battles we've wanted to see. We're gonna find out 
who the White Walkers are, we might get a White Walker point of view character. And since they're doing even they since they did a flashback with season five, I think that's going to be like the new thing for the final seasons. I think we're gonna get that. Heck, I really think we're gonna get a season eight just to get more characters in the show and develop more characters. Like we might get Euron Greyjoy and all that crap. All that good She's naive that we've been wanting. So, uh, yeah, I think we're possibly going to get three more seasons. But I think those three seasons will be the best because we'll be getting flashbacks, visions, more awesome battles, and more character development than ever before. All right, guys, I'm going to break this video here. Um, my name's Tiger Brinson. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, have a nice day.